Hello adventurers and welcome back to this familiar place that I have not been in in quite a while. In this video I am going to be talking about four more of my travel must-haves. I figured I haven't done a video like this in quite a while, I think a couple of years now, and I have some pretty cool travel gadgets that I have been bringing with me on my trips that I absolutely love and would highly recommend, so why not do another video? Numero uno is the Martian smartwatch, which I am currently wearing, and it is the most amazing watch I have ever owned, besides the calculator watch I had when I was seven. Seriously though, this is the coolest watch. It gives you Facebook, Twitter, and email notifications anytime, anywhere. All you have to do is hook it up to your smartphone using Bluetooth. It also allows you to read your text messages and answer phone calls right on this watch. You can read the text messages on this tiny little screen. I'm also loving the Dick Tracy feature where you can talk to people right into your watch. And the speakers are really good too. And before you answer your phone calls for your watch, there's a caller ID feature so you can see who's calling you, so you can see whether you want to pick it up or not. There's also the voice command feature, which allows you to do hands-free texting, so you can read, reply, and send text messages without using your hands. And you can also call people using the voice control. Let's test that out. Call Sia. Calling Sia Therapy Mobile. Hello. Hello there. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm call am I, am I gonna be on video? Yeah, I'm calling you using my uh, my smartwatch. Say hi to everyone. Hello everyone. I can't believe I'm being heard through a watch. Pretty cool, right? Thanks, Sia. Very cool. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Another really cool feature is you can trigger your camera phone's shutter remotely. So you can take group pictures and all you have to do, set up your phone, get in the shot, say cheese, press the little button here and it takes the picture for you. I know we all love selfies, but sometimes you want to get a little bit more in the shot than just your pretty face. Another really cool feature of the watch that I absolutely love because I, I am known for losing my phone. And thanks to this guy, if I'm about 20 feet within the area where my phone is somewhere hiding, then I can find it using my watch. So all you have to do is scroll through your options until you find Find Phone. And you click on that. And your phone plays a little tune for you so you can find it. And then it goes the other way around. Say you can't find your watch, but you have your phone. You just go on to the app which you would download in order for you to connect your phone with your watch to have all these wonderful features. And then all you have to do is go to your home screen and you'll see Find Watch. And beside that, play. Just click that. Same song, plays for your watch. All in all, I'm digging the watch. I think it's great for a traveler who's constantly on social media. I need to be on social media all the time for my job. And sometimes I don't always have free hands. I have my camera gear with me, I have my luggage, and now that I have this watch, it's been a huge help. The next travel must-have item I would like to share are these guys. Ooh, they're dirty. <laughs> I just got dirt all over me. These are the Keen Unique shoes that just came out and I am absolutely in love with them. The first couple of days I wasn't too sure because I did have to work them in. Got a couple of blisters, but you know, sometimes that happens when you get new shoes. Now that they have been definitely worked in, I love them. I wear them all the time. Why I really like them is it's like wearing a running shoe mixed with a sandal because you got the comfort of a running shoe but then you've got the openness of a sandal, so it's very airy. These can be used for hiking, walking, biking, they can be used in the water, they can be used for climbing, zip lining, basically anything active. And when I travel, I am very active, I love to take part in physical activities, so these shoes are good for everything. Because these shoes can be used for so many different activities when traveling, I no longer have to bring three pairs of shoes, which I 
normally do with me. Instead, I bring these in my flip-flops, so I leave my water shoes and my toe shoes at home. I have tested these out in the water and they dry very quickly, which is a must because no one likes to walk around in wet shoes. The third item is a quick pod or monopod. I love, love this so much. So this is what it looks like. You might have seen one before. Basically, it's like having an extra long arm. This baby extends pretty far, about four feet. Whoa. Pretty good, pretty good. This has allowed me to get some pretty cool shots I otherwise wouldn't have been able to, such as some close-up shots of fish or coral when snorkeling or scuba diving or high bird's eye view type shots like this one. The Quick Pod comes with two attachments. I got one here for my GoPro and one for the camera I'm shooting with right now, which is the Sony X5R. Other great times to use this bad boy is during festivals or if you're in a crowd of some sort because like I said, a very long arm so it can get some really cool shots from high up above. And last, but definitely not least, my first aid kit. This may seem like an obvious thing to bring, but I felt like I needed to talk about it because it is, it is so important. I have used this on every single trip that I've been on. This one here is the basic one. It cost $10. It came with band-aids in various sizes, antibacterial wipes, it got an arm sling, we got gauze, tape, and then I bought a couple of other things separately and added it to my kit. We've got Advil, Tylenol, and Polysporin. I really do use this on every trip. It's mostly for band-aids and Polysporin because blisters are a frequent occurrence during my travels. I walk a lot or run a lot or do crazy activities a lot, so I'm on my feet a lot, <laughs> and therefore I get blisters a lot. And that is it, my friends, for this video. But before you go, I would love to know what your travel must-haves are. What is one thing that you bring on your travels that maybe others may not have thought of and that you would highly recommend? Tell us in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time. Happy travels! Mm -hmm.